liking, y'all. It's your boy, Rockshot Warren, wrenching while you sleeping. Yeah, it's about to, man, uh, that's an hour fast. Sun's about to come up, man. We've been in here trying to get things cleaned up, gang, trying to get it straightened out. So I have some room to, you know, make some maneuvers. Uh, we... I'm probably going to take a break from the car stuff today. I got some house stuff I got to handle up. Handle up on some yard work. But uh, we got this scuffed up pretty good. I'm going to hit it one more time with the uh, deal right there and some uh, cleaning solution. You feel me? Some, like, degreaser or something. So you get two for one. You're putting the, your profile in and you're degreasing it. But uh, looking good there. Um, and we're moving along, man. So... This vid here, man. Uh, yeah, we got some boxes, man. We got two situations going on, man. We got some goodies here from Holly. Some other goodies from Holly. Uh, picked up a another plate. I got to head out to the high desert to my man Chili P Performance. He's got a uh, mock-up block for me, and you see what it is. Yeah, gang. I'm digging it. This is exactly what I had in my head. And it's, uh, yeah, so this is all just in mock-up, gang. It's just sitting here right quick. That's how I do. I like to, first I think about it, and then I go, okay, let's figure out a way to, to mock it up. So you see what I did, man. I kind of just angled the heads, put a couple of bolts in there, and dropped the pieces on right quick. Yeah, these are most likely going to get painted up the same color as the car. This is all going to be for the uh, for the Elko. The L is going to be getting a... Uh, what is it? A uh, LS376 525 uh, crate motor, uh, long block. We don't, I don't want the intake and all that other type of stuff. So that's what this is for. We picked this up. We picked up the uh, throttle body. Man, this is the kind of stuff right here that uh, I hate about Holly, man. On the site, when you pick up these parts, they don't tell you, oh, by the way, you're going to need this. Oh, by the way, you're going to need that. So let's say you're deep into your project, man, and you're setting everything up for the weekend. You got buddies coming over. They're going to help you. And then you find out you can't move forward because, well, oh, we don't supply the screws for that. We don't. We, you need this part for your blah, blah, blah part. I hate that shit. Just tell me on the website. <laughs> Just tell me. it. It's driven a lot of my uh, homies that was in the holly. It's driven them away from it, you know. One of my homies, he was like, nah, fuck them, bro. I, I fuck with Fitech. I don't fuck with Holly. And I get it. You know, I see. Like, they didn't send the hardware for these. You feel me? Not everybody had, you know, an LS to transfer bolts and shit over. So, just little stuff like that, man. But uh, I got this at a hell of a deal. I was going to cop it brand new uh, from the site. But a homie went a different way. And he had just bought this. He had the throttle body, man, for 50 bucks, and I missed it. So I copped this from Eddie's Performance. Eddie's Performance got this for me. They were the middle middle guy, and uh, for a nice price, Eddie's Performance got these for me. So now I just got to get the hardware. Luckily, on the website, they tell you what size it is. So I just get the two bolts for here, two bolt little screws for there, and keep it moving, gang. So uh, the mock-up looks amazing i dig it you feel me we're gonna leave the heads aluminum for that build uh and we're gonna be getting that soon you see what it is gang uh this is ready to come out backyard betty is here and uh so we got to get this snatched out and then get the motor over there on that side i don't know how the hell i'm gonna do that but we'll make it happen <laughs> i don't know how the hell i'm gonna do that see this was supposed to be turned around gonna push the car out a little bit snatch the motor and then roll it over here but now i don't know how the hell i'm gonna do that we'll figure it out man uh i think if i push the elco back snatch it from the front i might have just enough to get you know put it on the engine stand and squeak it by i can always push it back and my wheel dolly slide the front. yeah 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 i'll be able to get it cracking but uh that's what it is gang we got the mock-up going and then uh some holly goodies this is the uh holly uh the way the ls is going to be dropped into the heart and soul elko is we went with the holly uh setup so this is the uh, cross member 
Uh, I'll be breaking that. I'm gonna fade it out and break everything, break everything out the boxes for you guys so you can see what it is. Uh, and then here goes all the clamshells. We got the uh, engine mounts. Uh, and I'll show all the part numbers and everything. Uh, what else? What else we got? We got the, uh, there's a couple of things I'm missing that Holly hasn't sent out. I was hoping when I went to Arizona, I could have picked up the uh, Terminator X Max for it, but that's weeks out before they uh, ship. You know, everything's always back ordered. You, you plop the loop down and then, oh, sorry, it's back ordered. Shit, send my money back. <laughs> Fuck. But yeah, gang, so I'm gonna fade it on out. Start, you know, yanking these parts out, man, so you can see it. But I think this is a, a clean look. I might insert a video, man, up here, somewhere in here, of what it is that I'm trying to do. And I think this is getting me there. This motor, I'm gonna put the video up. It, uh, it's blue. I swear, when I saw it, I was like, that's exactly what I want. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll put that in, man. Insert that clip. All right, y'all. I'm going to fade it on out, get this stuff out the boxes, and then uh, show you what we're working with. All right, y'all. Fading it back on in with your little homie Rock Shop Warren. All right, gang. So here we go, man. This is a pretty dope system, man. And from what I was told, it's one of the, it's probably the best setup uh, from to, to to get it dropped in. I mean, I've had a bunch of set, setback plates. I've had uh, BRP mounts. I've had a few different situations man you know clamshell man oh, i've had it all and uh i'm gonna give this one a try this time it's pretty pri pricey man i'm gonna leave the links and everything down in there but uh it seems pretty dope now the way it all sets up it confuses a lot of people because you know we, we don't like reading instructions we just like try to figure it out nah read them instructions man they're right here they give you i mean look at this they tell you right where to put them 78 79 cars will require these holes to be elongated. I mean, they try they try and tell you everything. Everything right there with some good clear pictures. Instruction seems pretty nice. So follow the instructions, you're good to go. I think I'm missing a couple of pieces. That's the problem with Holly, is that eh, you buy the whole kit, but you know, it's tentative ship date. You know, you get tired of that shit. But uh I got what I need to actually get the motor dropped in you feel me uh this kit comes with the uh, cross member and all the braces and hardware and everything uh these i believe are the actual engine mounts and then of course these guys with the uh, polyurethane set up this is the whole thing together yeah so it's a pretty dope kit man uh the elco is about to get some major upgrades here so we're gonna be getting after it soon yeah and when I when I caught that COVID, man, it uh, it just slowed everything down. You can't get time back. Fuck. But we we will. We back healthy, man, and we back on it. So I, I was really hoping all of this would be on the Elko right now. But oh well, it's all good. Let's go check out this mock-up over here, man. <sighs> I'm digging it. This is exactly what I wanted. Let me step back a little bit. Yeah, man, I can already see it in here. Yep, that is a clean, clean look, gang. I am totally digging that. I wanted to have the big block look, you feel me? Uh, and the cheapest way to get that cracking was with these covers. I think I got these from Corvette, Resto Ma, something like that. I'll find it, put the link down in the uh, description and uh, get it cracking. What we gonna do, man, is I'm probably gonna chrome these out or have them painted the same color as a car, as an Elko. Shit, look at that, the connectors are already uh, blue and silver. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I think I might just go ahead and get these painted up blue, man. Get them painted up blue, redo these lines. 
uh, with my braid that I like and then my end pieces that I like. Looks like it's dash eight. Yeah, but uh, clean look of it. Now, like I said before, man, the one thing I hate about Holly is you'll be knee deep in your project, kind of find out you need to buy this bracket and then you need to get these. Tell me this shit before I check out. Oh, we noticed that you're buying this. You're gonna need that. May we suggest blah, blah, blah. You're knee deep in the project, got homies over helping, and then you gotta go searching two, three hours for a part that should have came with the product. So that's, that's just how they get you, man. They nickel and dime you. But yeah, man, so that's a cold look. Trying to get this motor out, and on that side, we'll figure it all out. We'll get it, we'll get it cracking, man. Uh, just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with with uh, the Heart and Soul Elko. We're gonna do a little work on her, get these suspension parts changed over, get the motor pulled out, and then she's gonna get a detail and then cover it. And she's done until we're finished up on Backyard Betty. So on her, we started the uh, cleanup back here. Now a couple of the homies were like, wait a minute, why, why wasn't the bed painted? And I'm like, I'm gonna spray you Paul over it anyway. See, the way I do stuff, gang, it's like I'm trying to keep the cost down. So I stripped, and one guy, one of the homies was like, a few of them, well, why are you taking all the parts off? Why aren't you having the body shop do that? I'll tell you right now, all the work I did saved me about 1200 bucks. You see what I mean? So whatever I can do here, I'm going to do. Now, when I pull up, the guy's like, oh, shit, you did a lot of the work for us already. Okay, boom, knocks off, you know, 1200 So... There it is, but why have them paint all of this when I'm just gonna go back and do the same thing I'm doing now? I'm gonna scuff it all up and then I'm gonna shoot the u paw Now I did have some rust holes in here. I did have them take care of that. You feel me? They were like, oh, that's nothing. We can we can tighten that up like real quick. They got that going. I forgot to tell them to uh, fill these holes in, so I'll be taking care of that. But there it is, gang, so. Man, I'm telling you, Heart and Soul Elko is about to get some major updates. Show you what we got already. Sorry about that. I hit the button. I took off the uh, reds, which are going on hers. You and my reds, and we got those Vikings for now. She's a, she's gonna get the uh, springs and the bags, and I'm eventually gonna go coil over. So I got some little four inch drop springs over there. I'm gonna just throw those in for now. Like I said, Backyard Betty's, or uh, Heart and Soul Elko, she's gonna be down for a minute. I'm thinking about moving this rear end over to my 86 and then taking this, getting a nine for this, moving this beefy 8.5 over here. I don't know, we'll see how it goes, man. But there it is, gang. It's your boy. We about to get to work up in the rock shop with your little homie, Rock Shop Warren. And you know how I do. I keep it Chevy.